Did I really have like makeup in my teeth the entire time? I'm so pissed right now. <laughs> I can't wait to show you my toys. It's Rosa and welcome to today's video. Today is going to be a swatch video on the very famous, very coveted, highly coveted I guess I would say, Modern Renaissance Palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills. And I'm really excited to do this because I am extremely, extremely picky with palettes now but I have been seeing all over the interwebs that this palette is highly favorited. So I wanted to go ahead and get it myself and I'm gonna be swatching all of the colors for you guys and letting you know what I think. I have not touched this palette at all. I opened it for a photo for Instagram, but that is about it. If you guys wanna see swatches of the Anastasia uh, Beverly Hills palette as well as my first reaction to it, then keep on watching. Also make sure to like this video if you liked it and subscribe if you haven't yet to join the Briar Patch Fam Bam where we have fun here all the time. And let's go ahead and get started with the video. All right, so this is what it looks like when it comes in its packaging. It is just a pink box that matches the inside. So it is very velvet, which kind of frightens me because velvet tends to get stained and dirty. But I do like that it's like a pastel pink. It looks very aesthetically pleasing, I should say. These are all of the colors that are in this palette. As you can see, it's a beautiful kind of matte and shimmery type palette, which is great. And the one thing that I was looking for and the reason that I did purchase this palette is I was looking for a new fall palette because fall is coming up and fall and winter are my favorite. Holidays, holidays are my favorite seasons. So I wanted to find a new palette to wear throughout the fall and winter time because at the moment Kat Von D Monarch palette is my go-to eyeshadow palette for the fall and winter time. But I did want to add another to the collection and this is the one that I picked because everyone was like going cray. They were going cray over this palette. Inside as well it comes with a brush which I think is really nice because I love these dual ended brushes. You guys know in my tutorials I use these dual ended brushes quite often. So I love that it comes with a brush and this is what the brush looks like. Let's go ahead and start swatching. So I'm going to swatch at the top row first. So the first color I'm going to swatch is this one right here and this one is the color Temp Tempera. I like that. Oh, the first time I touch it, it is so soft you guys and that pigment is amazing. So I will just go ahead and swatch it right here. So this is kind of a pink toned color. This is what it looks like. It is just a really nice pink toned. It, there's no really sheen to it. It's maybe like a tiny sheen really, but it's pretty matte. We're gonna go in with Golden Ochre, which is this more or like yellow toned muted gold shade. So this is Wild Ochre. And it's just a nice kind of like base tone to maybe set your lids with when before you start your shadow making extravaganza. Next is Vermeer, or Vermeer, my bad. And this is the color right here. It's just kind of like a light satin pink. Oh my God, that is holy moly, holy grail, guys. This is Vermeer, and oh my God, look at that freaking sheen, you guys. Ridiculous. What? What's his life? Next color is another matte color. Oh, and I was saying, the one thing that I don't like about this palette is they have a lot of, they have like a pink thing. And I, and I can wear pink, but thank God most of these colors are like autumn filled colors. The one thing I just don't like is there's a magenta in here and I'm just kind of like, I don't really like the color magenta. So the next one is Buon Fresca, or Fresco, Buon Fresco. And it's this color right here. And this is kind of like a, this is actually not kind of, it is a mauve shade. This is gorgeous. Actually, it's more purple when it comes, goes on the skin. That is what it is. This is definitely for the cool tone girls out there. I'm more of a warm tone person, so I might not reach for this too often. But it is a really pretty um, matte, cool tone purple. Let's really quickly recap. The first one is Tempera. The second one is Golden Ochre. The third is Vermeer. The fourth is Buon Fresco. So those are all of those colors. Next three on the top row, I'm going to go ahead and I feel like I'm gonna to be totally loving this color. This is called Antique Bronze, this one right here. And let's go ahead and swatch that. Oh my God, this is gonna be the epitome of my fall um, smoky eye, I think. Holy crapolas. 
Do you guys see that? Like that sheen? So pretty. It's like a golden sheen on like mahogany or like a light mahogany eyeshadow. Jeez. All right, Anastasia, I see what you did there. The next one is the one that I don't like at all, like just the color of it. Love Letter is not a color that I enjoy, but a matte magenta shade. If you guys are magenta lovers, you are gonna love this color. It is straight up matte, and that is the color right there. It's like a dark magenta. And then the final one on that row is Cypress Umber, and I love this shade. Oh! Guys, look at this. This is like so pigmented. Like, I get it now. I, get it. I feel like this is gonna be just like my Kat Von D palette because it's so pigmented that you have to just be careful when you're working with it. So that is the last three of the top rows. So that's Antique Rose, which is this one, Love Letter, which is this one, and Cypress Umber, which is this one. This is the entire row right here of all the colors and let's go ahead and swatch. So the first one is raw sienna. I mean, it literally matches my heart. So pretty. Like this is the perfect transition shade when you're doing a warm tone smoky eye or any warm tone eye really. Next is burnt orange. This is what burnt orange looks like. And let's go ahead and swatch. This is burnt orange and oh my goodness gracious you guys, amazing. That is so pretty. Next is Primavera. So Primavera is this color right here. It looks like a beautiful champagne shade. So this may even be a highlighty shade. Who knows? Ooh, it looks like. Oh, girl. I'm like heavily breathing right now because this is like the most beautiful thing I've seen in my entire life. This literally looks like Mary Luminizer, but a little bit pinker. I don't know if you can see that sheen, but oh my gosh, this is definitely Coma Primavera. Um, next one is Red Ochor. So it is like a burnt mahogany color. Look how pretty that is. It's like ox blood, basically. Beautiful, like brown, red shade. Oh, these colors are so, I am so impressed with this palette. Like, what the hell? <laughs> Ever had a palette? Except the Kat Von D Monarch palette because that palette is my jam. This palette may be my second jam. I'm not even gonna lie. Next color is Venetian Red, which is this one right here. And again, it's kind of pinky, so, but in person, it doesn't look that pinky on as it does on camera. It's more of a darker, muted kind of mahogany shade. That one is Venetian Red. Gorgeous shade. Love this shade go through all those shades real quick because I'm kind of running out of room. Um, so the first one is, this one is Raw Sienna, Burnt Orange, Come Primavera. This is Primavera, Red Ochre, which is literally God, and Venetian Red. That is beautiful. So the last two colors are kind of cool. So there's Warm Taupe and Realgar, Realgar, Realgar. So warm taupe is O-Taupe color, and this one is literally the reason why I actually at least started looking at this palette. I love me an orange shade. Kat Von D has the most amazing orange shade in her Monarch palette. And I saw this one in this palette, and I was like, maybe this place has like potential. Those are the two colors. That one is warm taupe, and this one is Railgar, or Realgar. I'm so I am so impressed with this palette, you guys. Holy moly. I remember when I posted it on Instagram, everyone was like, <clears throat> So right when I posted the picture of this modern palette, like three or four people like straight up commented, you are gonna love this palette. Girl, you may be right. I may love this palette the rest of my life because I, I don't know. And it's funny because like, I like, all of my palettes, I'm not in love with them. Like if I could get rid of like all of my palettes, I probably wouldn't just keep this one in my Kat Von D one, but girl, girls gotta do what a girl's gotta do. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and enjoyed seeing some of my swatches here on the tube. Make sure to like this video if you liked it and subscribe if you haven't yet to join the Briar Patch Fam Bam where we have fun here all the time. And I will see you guys all in my next video. Please make sure to stay tuned because I will be having a tutorial on this palette 
shortly, maybe multiple, because this is literally maybe my favorite palette of them all. Next cap <laughs> Alright guys, thanks so much for watching. Bye.